G'day. So today we're going to change a tire. And guess what? Here's one I prepared earlier. So this one, I must, I don't really know how I've done it, but uh, the sidewall split open and there was a little mark. So I think I've caught the corner of a rock or something like that. But uh, anyway, she's cactus. She's got to come off. Now there's the spare. Key is you've always got to have a good spare because pretty flat out at the moment. I don't want to have to actually change it again tomorrow or Monday. So I'll be able to run that out for a little while. It's going to look a little bit crappy, but uh, that'll get us through the year. So first step we've got, we've got to jack her up. So I've already started here. So I'm on the grass. So you want to get a bit of timber underneath. Otherwise, uh, the old jackpot just goes straight through the floor and you have a spot of bother. So she's set up there. Basically, I'll just jack away, get her up. And that's... Uh, that's phase one, that'll get off the ground and we can start undoing the nuts and change the tire. Okay, so I've jacked that up a little bit, not the whole way yet, but I'll start cracking these nuts. Believe it or not, it's a brand new tire too. It's only about three weeks old, which it's a little bit heartbreaking, but these things happen. So the nuts have got to be on pretty tight and I don't have an extra extension bar to, to get out here to try and lever it. So, I'm going to have to use brute strength to get this off. Uh, let's see how we go. Alright, key here. Use your bloody weight. Uh, uh, uh. Whew, come on. There we go, she cracked, you <laughs> beauty. Once you get that crack, you're, uh, you're pretty well on your way and she's got me all right. So that's the first one, so you uncrack them all. Um, as I say, it's got to be a lot easier if you've got an extension pole to lever off, but I don't have one here. Um, so crack them all, get all those nuts off, pull off the tyre, whack the new one on, tighten them up. So we'll get to it. Alrighty. Got all our nuts off, so 10 of them. Remember, this only for a 10 study. You, you wouldn't do it like this if you had uh, spider rims, by the way. So. Totally different way, so this only for 10 studies. You can also do this for cars, caravans, just your, just your standard stuff. So, all right, we'll get this off. Whack the spare on. Hopefully I've jacked it up enough. Beautiful. There's one off. And you can go free. Okay. Get her in. Left me bloody bar under the trailer, but... There we go here. Yeah. All right, looks like we've got some, uh, a good height. So you just got to line up your studs again. There we go, she's on. Give her a bit of a boot. Look at that. Oh, that was a bit easier than what I was, uh, and what I thought it was going to be, considering I'm on video. So, from here, all you do... Ah, fuck here. Yeah. Get up. Stay up there. Get your first nut back on. If it wants to. There we go. So, yeah, get that one to uh, just hold it tight. Because you've got your little guide markings that the tyre's got to actually, uh, the rim will sit on. So you get that first one in. Don't have to do them up totally tight just yet. Alright, so she's pretty well on. Now the best way to do it, to get an even uh, tightness, to make sure that that the, uh, the rim will stay on. So do your nuts in opposite directions. So don't just work from there and your way around, sort of go there, there, here, here, just sort of keep crossing over. And uh, the same when you're tightening up too. So it's up to your own discretion, but yeah, that's how I, I prefer to do it. So I'd get that one on and basically exactly the opposite to, uh, to getting the tire off. So you'd, you whack that on. Get her nice and tight. And again, if you had a, a nice jimmy bar, she'd come tight. But yeah, from that point, all I'd do there is just tighten her up like that. That's fallen off, but uh, you get the idea. 
So that's pretty well how you change a tyre. So that's a truck, car, whatever. You just got 10 studs on this. Car's got to be a little bit lighter. You probably only got five or six. So once that's all done, drop the jack and you're good to go. But uh, one thing tyre fitters will tell you, and it's uh, quite important, after about 300k of driving or so, pull over and just check all your nuts to make sure they're not loose. Because uh, if you haven't got it on exactly square or a couple of loose, they'll actually start to rattle off and off go your tyres. So that's the last little thing you have to worry about. But overall, it's not overly hard. So there you go. For anyone that uh, wasn't sure how to do a tyre, that's how you do it. Well, that's how I do it anyway on a nice hot summer's day. Cheers. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you're after apparel, hats, t-shirts, singlets, stickers, check out toastruckandstories.com.